Michael is remarkably authentic. Intelligent, articulate, charming, interesting. Mensch. So committed to storytelling, to narrative, to language. Deeply connected to the theater community. Brilliant stand-up comic. I think my most important thing to say to Michael, in addition to congratulations on 30 years, is really just to say thank you. Because what he has done for our organization and for our community is really remarkable. And I'm not sure that he steps back often enough and appreciates just how impactful what he has created has been on so many people. The great spirit, his energy, his uh, appetite for good theater, his real love of the theater just comes shining through. It's really lifted us all up. Michael's uh, footprint, his sandy footprint from the beaches of Truro have been left all over uh, the, the 30 years here at the Huntington and, and certainly the future of the Huntington. Um, he's been a partner to every artistic director that's come through here. He's not just a managing director, he really truly is a partner um, and has impacted a lot of the creative decisions that have been made here. Michael is so creative, he's an innovator. He's a collaborator, he's a magician, really. Michael is a magician. What the Huntington has achieved, which is magnificent um, and incredibly distinctive, both locally and nationally, is in no, no small measure his, his great achievement. Michael always had the big picture in mind. He never saw the Huntington Theatre Company as just a resident theatre company in Boston. He saw it as part of the Boston theatre community. So one of the transitions he navigated was founding Stage Source, which is an alliance of Boston theater presenters and producers and artists. And I think that that's a really important piece, that he understood that part of raising the level of quality in the community was by having the community come together and support each other. He wanted to help foster and let other theater companies thrive and build as well. And I think that was illustrated when the Calderwood Theater opened up that it became uh, a part of the mission of the Huntington Theater Company, not just to have a second stage, but to do so in a way that helped other theater companies thrive as well. Michael agreed to meet with me once a month for a good year or two, and his main focus with me was to help me develop a board for Speakeasy and really launch the company from being sort of this scrappy grassroots place to becoming, a, you know, to forming a business model and becoming a substantial theater company. And I can thank him for a lot of what Speakeasy has become today. He makes everything that he does at the Huntington have a deeper impact on the rest of the arts community and on Boston is a great place to live. Through the journey of the Broadway thing, Michael felt like home in the middle of it. And I remember walking into the first meeting around the big boardroom table of all of the Broadway producers and I hadn't believed that it was going to happen until that meeting. And I sat down and I looked up and Michael was sitting across the table from me and I thought, okay, I can do this. He is not afraid of sentiment. He is not afraid of a narrative. He is willing to be edgy and at the same time willing to belt out a show tune. Um, this is, this is rare. He is uh, a warm, honest, engaging, funny uh, mensch. And um, that comes across in pretty much every single thing he does. The, the Huntington is inseparable from Michael. I think of Michael as the Huntington. My family called Michael Mr. Huntington. You know, my mother thought Michael was walked on water. He was because of the Huntington. And because the Huntington and Michael seem to be in this of the same essence. You know, Michael is so devoted to the theater. He, everything about this, this theater he cares about. He cares about every person, every production, every value in the production. He cares about and he's and he's he's so involved i it's really hard to think about him ever apart from the huntington all of these achievements and all of this acclaim would be absolutely insufferable if we all didn't know you to be one of the warmest most approachable completely unpretentious and brilliantly funny human beings we have ever met michael masso we adore you.